Welcome to our technical video series on how to build custom decentralized applications with the Horizon sidechain technology called Zendu. This is the fifth episode of this video series. In the last episode, we discussed the Horizon sidechain SDK API extension. In this video, I discussed the Horizon SDK object serialization. We will look at how to implement bytes and JSON serialization of custom objects like transactions, boxes, propositions, and so on. Additionally, I cover how to let the SDK know how to use serialization inside the core logic. First, let's discuss serialization to bytes. In previous videos, we discussed how to implement custom transactions, boxes, box data, propositions, and proofs. All these custom objects should be transmitted between the nodes in the network and stored to their physical storage. To perform these operations, custom objects should be serialized to bytes and deserialized back to Java class instances. For example, we have the proposition interface. Under the hood, the proposition, transaction, box, and other core interfaces extend the bytes serializable interface that consists of two methods, bytes and serializer. The bytes method expects to return a byte representation of the object. The serializer is a companion interface for the bytes serializable objects. This class will later be used to enable the SDK core to understand how to deserialize bytes back to the specific class instance. The proposition serializer interface is inherited from the basic core SCOREC serializer interface with two methods to be overridden, serialize from the specific proposition to the writer and parse from the reader to the instance of the specific proposition. Reader and writer are utility classes that help make the serialization process easier. Let's go to the final regular box and regular box serializer classes to look at serialization related code. In the regular box, we have the bytes implementation. This is where we return the concatenation of the bytes representation of the nonce and box data fields. We call the corresponding box data serializer to get the bytes of the box data field. The deserialization operation is implemented in a static parse bytes method. Here we see the opposite. We take the first eight bytes from the input bytes. These bytes represent a long value of nonce, then the rest is passed to the corresponding box data serializer to get the instance of regular box data. The serializer method returns the instance of companion regular box serializer class. We implemented it as a singleton class to avoid multiple allocations, which speeds up the serialization process. In the serialize method, we reuse bytes representation implementation defined in the regular box class and put resulting bytes to the writer. In the parse method, we get the remaining bytes from the reader and call the static method defined in the regular box class to create an instance of it, in the same way we do with all other objects. But how do we make SDK aware of the custom class's serializers? As soon as a developer defines their custom class, they can initialize the sidechain app class with the knowledge of their serializers. To do this, you need to define several hash maps where the key is the unique type ID of the custom class and the value is the class companion serializer. In the Lambo registry example, we defined two custom boxes, car box and car cell order box. We put these two items with the corresponding box type unique IDs into the custom box serializers app. We did the same for box data, proofs, and transactions. You can also mention the custom secrets map, which is empty because the Lambo registry has no custom secrets. Note the absence of the map for propositions. In one of the previous videos, we talked about the creation of a custom proposition type for the Lambo registry, the cell order proposition. We should note that propositions in the core are not serialized separately. They are always present as part of either boxes or secrets, so the containing class always knows how to deal with the propositions. That's why we don't need to provide the SDK core with additional information about custom proposition serializers, but need to provide box info, which is stored separately in the sidechain state. After we define custom serialization hash maps, we need to pass them as arguments, sidechain app class constructor, and that's it. The SDK will use that information during the serialization process inside the core logic. In addition to bytes serialization, there is also JSON serialization needed inside the API. As we saw in the previous video, the sidechain node communicates with the user via API calls. These calls expect JSON as the request inputs and return JSON as the resulting messages. The most common result of an API call is having the block, custom transaction, or list of boxes represented in JSON. To define the JSON representation, we use the Jackson library with annotation. 
For example, we want all boxes, both core and custom, to be able to be serialized to JSON. To do this, we need to set the default view annotation before the class definition and specify the fields we want to be serialized. For all boxes, we want to have at least four fields, value, proposition, ID, and type ID. Developers can decide to extend the JSON representation in the extended classes. For example, in the car box class, there's no reason to show the value field because it's always equal to a single car. Using at JSON ignore properties will help with this. Using this tag before the class definition allows us to specify the fields to be ignored during serialization. Also, we can add other fields to be put to the JSON with JSON property tag as we did before in the box class or by specifying the public getter methods like get vin or get year that will be automatically processed even without specifying a JSON property tag. More options can be found on Jackson library documentation. Developers have almost no limitations with Jackson usage inside the sidechains SDK. In this video, we talked about how the sidechains SDK bytes and JSON serialization is implemented and how to do it for custom objects. This and more examples can be found in our sidechain SDK and Lambo registry GitHub repos, as well as in our documentation web portal. Thanks for watching. See you soon.